One of the things that I used to think before I lost 100 pounds was once I lose weight, I'm going to be happy, I know it, and that's when my life would begin. Of course, it took so long for me to get here. Sarah and I have been off and on keto for the last 20 years, losing 50 pounds, gaining 80 pounds, until I ballooned up all the way to about 262 pounds. And I would say that I spent the last 25 years absolutely obsessed with the idea of losing weight to the point where I would think about it from the time I woke up till the time I went to bed. I thought about it and talked about it so much that it became became really annoying for people to hear about it because I was obsessed with the idea. Of course, not actually doing the work involved to actually lose the weight sustainably. It was just, how could I get there? And once I reach there, I'll be happy, I know it. We do get this question a lot on our channel. Are you guys happier now that you've lost the weight? Because that's all I can think about. And so we're gonna talk about that today. Does losing weight make you happier? I think a lot of people feel the same as we do because I actually had the same exact thoughts. I would think about what are the things that I could accomplish in my life if I wasn't constantly thinking about what I will look like or how my life would be once I was thin. And my answer to this question is that I think that yes, I am happier from losing the weight because losing the weight gave me focus in my life. Not only with this YouTube channel and the community that it's brought to both of us, but just not having to think about it all the time. I feel like in the beginning when you're trying to lose weight, all you can think about is losing the weight. And then when you kind of accept that this is what you're gonna have to do forever, I feel like my mind opened up to the right. possibilities of everything outside of what I was gonna eat that day. And that's like why we created this YouTube channel. So yes, I would think that it definitely improved my life and my mood, definitely. What about you? I went from completely obsessed with losing weight all day, every day, Googling pictures of people that were my height and my weight and seeing their transformation mm -hmm. so I could imagine myself at that weight to not really thinking about it that much at all, honestly. And I think one of the biggest transformations that's gone on in my mind is that when I meet someone for the first time, I'm not thinking that they're gonna think that I'm fat. I think that losing the weight finally gave me the confidence to not be so self-conscious all the time and to think that people are judging me. People really don't care about you all that much. And I realize that now, but back then it's all I could think about is, you know, when we would go out socially, we would meet a lot of people. And in my mind, I was thinking, you're obviously thinking that I'm fat right now. And so I would be very like funny because I felt so defensive. My brand of humor was a little demeaning to myself just so that people knew that I knew that I was fat. And so it's so strange now that now that's not like on my mind. I'm not thinking about how I look to other people. And I don't really care how I look to other people now, which is funny because I cared so much before and it made such a big part of me and what I decided to do with my life and why I felt like I could never achieve what I wanted. And I honestly was trapped in this mentality that the weight was holding me back. It was really me that was mm -hmm. doing that and the fear of like what people thought of me. And we've told this story before, but even during high school and stuff, I would try to police what Sarah was wearing because I thought that somehow that was going to be a tell that I was fat. I had like a lot of mental anguish over the years um, trying to like regulate my emotions around this whole thing. And so to not have that burden on top of me all the time, it's like I have time to think about other things. And that has made me infinitely happier. Well, and also there's something to be said about being a twin in this type of situation because, you know, if Emily and I were different in weights, people would comment on yeah. it. So not only do you have to feel like you're bigger than someone just for being yourself, but then you have random people comparing you to like, oh, you're a little bit bigger than her mm -hmm. or you're a little bit taller. So it definitely made me self-conscious to the point where we would try to stay in the same weight bracket just because <laughs> we didn't want people comparing us to our right. faces. Like, I know that seems like who would do that? A lot of people. Right. And it made me self-conscious like, when I started losing weight that she hadn't lost the weight at that time. So um, for my wedding, I was actually really motivated to lose weight and Emily actually would see me losing weight and that's when she decided to get on because she was like, I don't want to stand up there during your wedding day and be bigger than you mm -hmm. and have people comparing us. And when Emily got married, she was bigger and I actually stopped trying to lose weight because we were standing up there and I didn't want people to like see the difference between mm -hmm. us. So not only did you have your own self-conscious thoughts, but you were worried about that other person. So I think that with us, it's like, there's a little bit more of a deeper issue with gaining and losing weight because we had the pressure of looking like twins all the time 
and trying not to have people compare us. So if you don't know about our past life before we started this channel, I was a reseller online of used clothing, used designer clothing on eBay. And I started doing that when I was about 22 and I did not want to be the face of anything, right? I was also pretty heavy. So a lot of the stuff, actually this business came from me not being able to yeah. fit in anything I found. And so I said, someone's going to like this. Maybe I should sell it. And it ended up turning into this thing where we had an office and an employee. My husband actually joined in and started doing like the men's side. He would sell women's clothing too. But we did it for so long. I saw that eBay was becoming saturated and I knew that the only way to save this business was to be the face of it. Starting social media, Media, starting an Instagram account, um, trying to get people in that way to buy the clothing that I was selling, which the clothing was really nice that I still have a lot of it um, <laughs> that I, I can now wear actually before I quit. But I was not willing to be the face of anything because of my weight. And I realize now that my weight stopped me from doing everything before. And now it's not something that I really think about. And you know, if you look at back at the beginning of our channel in 2016, Sarah and I actually started this channel back in 2016. And no one watched the videos back then. I mean, we just, we had no idea what we were doing. We were just filming videos back then. And um, we were extremely uncomfortable and Honestly, I just look at myself and I just feel sad for the person that's sitting there because I couldn't even get a word out. The video that we did the first time took about eight hours to film. I'm not even kidding because I felt so self-conscious about the way I looked and how, you know, I just felt heavier. I just felt tired already. And um, we did some videos, but then we quit just like everything else. Um, and we quit keto at that time too. But since we lost a lot of the weight outside of this channel, uh, I felt confident enough that I was feeling better about myself already, that I didn't feel super self-conscious about starting again. And that just goes to the mentality of like feeling better overall and how it's made us happier. Starting this YouTube channel was scary because you're putting yourself out there for the whole world to judge you and leave comments on everything from your hair to your makeup. Those comments that people leave, sometimes people will leave pretty rude comments on our videos, you know? They don't hurt me nearly as much as I hurt myself um, before I lost the weight because I was my harshest critic. I felt terrible about myself and I wanted everybody to know how terrible I felt about myself. And so losing the weight lifted something off of my shoulders that I could now focus on something else and learn new things and travel and feel okay. It's not just a mental thing, it's physically. I feel so much better now and I am not tired all the time and I'm not grouchy about wanting to eat. get, yeah, wanting to eat all the time and thinking about not just the next meal what about tomorrow i'm already thinking about that too it, it took so much away this lifestyle because it really just does turn off something in you after a while that causes you to binge which leads to this cycle of you gaining more and more and feeling worse and worse about yourself i just feel better overall i can't say anything negative about this whole experience sarah and i have been doing keto since january of 2019 and we lost the majority of the weight in up until like 2020 around there and it's just been a different life since we did it and so if you're wondering to yourself is it worth it we will say yes 100 percent, yes and all those things that you miss that you want to eat that you want to indulge on it's such a cliche but like it will never taste as good as how being healthier overall mentally physically feels it's as a totally different world i don't like who use the word skinny or anything like that because there are a lot of skinny people who are unhealthy. But I'm just saying overall, our lives have improved tenfold since we took on this as a lifestyle, not a diet. That's really important. We always say that. Don't think about the end point. Don't think about how you're going to just go off and be a different person once you get off keto because you're probably gonna gain it all back and more. But how can you incorporate strategies into your life where you can lose the weight and then keep it off forever. That way it's not a fad diet, okay? Sarah and I, we are relaxed about all of this. We call ourselves, like Sarah said, technically keto. And the important factor is, is that we could do what we're doing forever. I'm confident of it, I know it. It's not a punishment to me to eat this way. It's just how I eat. Now, if we were super clean, super strict, which some people are and that's yeah. great, then I don't know personally if I would be able to stay on this for the long term. I know that us eating clean some of the time and then having some indulgences, it leads me to not 
want to go off this ever. So if you think that you're going to just magically wake up and be happy because you've reached your goal weight or something, I don't think that that's how this happens. It's small changes over time that makes you feel like a different person, right? Mm -hmm. You'll catch a glance in the mirror and you'll go, hmm. hey, wow, I look a lot smaller or I look pretty good. Or you'll see somebody from your past and they will go, oh my gosh, you look so different. You look so great, what have you been doing? And you'll go, hey, maybe I do look great. The number is not the indicating factor and your goal weight is not the finish line. It's a change in your mentality and the way you feel about yourself over a long period of time. Not a number on the scale, not a dress size, not one compliment that you get, not like the validation of others totally. It is just when you reach there, you will know and you will think, wow, I haven't called myself fat in a while. Mm -hmm. And I haven't really thought negatively about myself in a while. And that's how you know that you're happy. So to answer the question that we get a lot on our channel, are you happy now that you've lost weight? And the answer would be yes. So if you're thinking of starting this lifestyle, go for it, do it, start now, don't wait till tomorrow. You can make your next meal a keto meal, have a steak, have some butter and have some broccoli and go for it. You don't have to overcomplicate this. And maybe you will be one step closer to happiness. You never know. If you guys wanna see other videos by us, you can click on one of the videos on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins, Twins, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe to Technically, Technically Keto. Keto. Why are you saying like that? I don't know.